Why is it so hard to punish PG&E? For one answer, you need only look to the federal judge overseeing the six federal felonies that PG&E was convicted of, who said, and I quote, a corporation cannot go to prison. That's how tied his hands are. However, PG&E was given five years of probation, which they then violated. So the judge is looking to punish them more. He said he's thinking about adding a sixth year to their probation. The prosecution, who managed to convict PG&E, has come back and told the judge, we're not sure you can do that. That's because federal law only allows up to five years of probation for a federal felony. And there's really no way that they've found that you can legally give somebody a sixth year. They did find one creative way the judge could get around that. They told him that if he wants to, he could re-sentence PG&E for all six of those felonies, essentially starting the clock back over at zero years of probation and give them a new five years that they'll have to fill. They say, quote, the court may have the authority to revoke PG&E's probation and impose a new probation term of up to five years. But they go on to say that this hasn't really been tested in case law, so the court would be kind of going into new territory at this point. PG&E argued to the judge that there is no legal way to give them more than the five years they were given when they were convicted of these six felonies. Originally, the prosecution says, let's just hold off right here. The judge has already added new creative terms to PG&E's probation, like banning the company from paying out dividends to shareholders until they've done a better job of cleaning up the forest. They suggest we give PG&E a little more time, but the prosecution did say the court can revisit this issue if PG&E violates the conditions of its probation again. In the meantime, there is still no chance of anybody going to prison, and that's because PG&E on these six felonies was convicted as a corporation. None of the officers were named in those charges.